Spring 2023 air conditioner tests and startups. This is the Frigidaire 10,000 BTUs air conditioner here in the garage. This is the it's an Electrolux product model number FFRE 1033L1 and it has uh, 7.8 amps. It's a curve of 12 er 12 one useless garbage that is er 410a oh lovely room air conditioner okay so uh let's see what the temperature is in here the temperature is it's 82 with 35 percent humidity i've had the door open with the fan going and it's 92 out I'm tired of sweating. I'm done doing dusty stuff, so it's time to put the conditioner on. Um, so let's turn it on. Okay, it started up okay. It always puts itself on echo. I don't know what the heck the difference is, but I don't want that. I want it on draw a lot of power. I need to do something about the way it's installed. Actually, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna change it because right now this is facing the south side, so the condenser is just soaking in the sun, which doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna put an exhaust fan in this window, and I'm gonna put the conditioner probably in this window here. Uh, it's gonna be a little tricky because I'm gonna have to shave the top of that board down or the bottom of that board down so it fits and I'll put it in this window and it'll be protected from the sun I think I'm going to change the machine too I think I'm going to use uh, either this Hampton Bay 12k or that Maytag I don't think we need a 12 in here because the heat gain is pretty minimal this one it cools it seems to cool okay but it doesn't pull the moisture out I've used it a couple times over the winter when it rained to try to dry the floor out and water would be pouring out the back but yet the humidity in the room is going up and then I shut it off and then the humidity stops going up so I don't quite understand that that doesn't make any sense it just doesn't seem to pull the moisture that good so I'm gonna switch it out with something vintage it works fine, it's it's blowing cold. The filter's clean, I cleaned it before. Just gonna take a look from the outside and see how it's doing from the outside. It's got some rust on there, but nothing crazy. See, there's the sun, and it just beats in the sun all day. It's, that, that's not a good install. It is a green compressor, whatever that is. Dubai Honda Compressor Company Limited, the rotary. And it's got a good airflow top to bottom, so it's clean. back inside and see how it's doing.
Well, it already cooled several degrees. 80. Yeah, it's blowing out nice and cold. It's probably at least 40 degrees. So, this looks like that, yeah, but because the way the ceiling is, I don't find that the air travels very well, so I keep it like that. It doesn't really seem to recirculate at all. And then I also have, uh, I have the remote for it here, which I ought to see if this remote will work with the unit upstairs because I like this remote better. So, we certainly don't need it in 60 degrees. Oh, good enough. Okay. So this works. Somewhat surprisingly. Seems to have a full charge and is operating normally. I don't remember when I started it, but it's been some time. The temperature's come down, but the humidity has gone up. So it humidifies as it cools. But what I don't understand is that, like, look how much... It's pulling moisture. There's plenty of condensation coming out of there. So why is the humidity going up? It just doesn't make any sense to me.